Hello, my Leos. This is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th, guys. <clears throat> We're going to check out um, what kind of issues you guys had, so on and so forth. We will discuss that as we go along. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information, my website information is down below the video, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Um, what were your issues with the relationship? Hmm. I feel like you guys just kind of thought it wasn't going anywhere. Like you were repeating old habits, um, old situations over and over and over again. Nothing was getting resolved is what I feel. Okay. Now, let's see how they, what kind of issues they had with the relationship. Uh, they felt like you were bringing a lot of secrecy, that you weren't as open as they would have liked for you to be. Um, very closed off, very unemotional, didn't show emotion, didn't tell them that you loved them, that sort of thing, okay? That is Pisces, Cancer. Um, energy right there does not have to be that sign but that's the energy that's present all right and keep in mind these situations can go vice versa so just because I intend for one line to be yours uh, the other one may be and vice versa okay so let's see um, what's actually keeping you guys apart right now for you, I think that you are so focused on things that have happened between you. Um, you're having a lot of regrets, I feel, over over um, maybe how you guys broke up. Maybe some things that you said or didn't say even. Um, being that they feel like you were very unemotional. Um, maybe it was things that... Um, that you felt like, you know, how you behaved in the relationship, just just having regrets, I feel like. Focus more on that, um, more so than the connection here. Let's see what's keeping them from you. They feel like they, uh, they want what they deserve at this point, and they feel like they don't deserve to be mistreated. Um, they don't deserve to have... Um, secrets in a relationship they want transparency they want what they deserve here they want somebody that's willing to give them that and they really don't feel like um that's something that they can have with you let's see what's currently going on with you hmm i think you're realizing that you do actually have a lot of feelings for this individual here um and you may want to tell them that you may want to open up and tell them that. I believe this is something that you are actually thinking about currently. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's currently going on with them. Hmm. I feel like they are facing whatever happened in the past and um, they are bothered by it still but they're trying to like get over that that hump they're trying to let things go they're trying not to focus on you know what happened or what didn't happen between the two of you or how it should have happened um and this person's also working very hard i feel like they're working very hard um on themselves and they're probably doing like a lot of work too involving other people where they are very giving in whatever line of work they're doing. Okay. So let's see what's influencing your current situation here. Hmm. I feel you guys want to go back. I feel like you want to, um, you want to fix it. You want to fix this relationship. I feel like a lot of you want to, um, you feel like this person is the one for a lot of you, okay? For a lot of you, you feel like this person is the one that, you know, you can have a very happy home with. You can have everything with even. Because we're going from the five to the ten of cups. You're, you're feeling like, you know, what did I do basically, I feel. Let's see what the influences for them is. They're looking for things that they deserve here they're looking for their ships to come in they're looking for the right person the right situation the right things in their life okay 
they this person I feel knows um, what it is exactly that they want and they will not accept anything less than that okay let's see what's coming in for you guys all right hmm a lot of you um, I, I think if you don't because fives are conflict I feel like if you don't address what issues um, you are having right now as far as reconnecting with this person, if you just let this opportunity go, slip by, I feel like you will end up um, feeling very hurt behind this if you don't extend, um, extend an offer, extend an apology, whatever that this means for you, if you don't act on it I feel like um, there's a possibility that you guys could end up feeling you know just kind of lost okay so it's very Taurus energy here we have Aries here as well we have Pisces Scorpio Sagittarius um, that energy is present okay so let's see what's coming in for them this person is, is very um, grounded very stable they know exactly what they want like i said um strong aries here aries pisces but they know exactly what they want and um they're willing to to do whatever they need to do to have what they want and what they feel like they deserve here okay very strong <clears throat> let's see what your blockage is what is leo's blockage Leo, your blockage is that you're not doing anything right now. You're not. You see all these cups. These are all aces. It's really up to you guys where you want this situation to go. Okay? It's up to you where you want this situation to go. If you want this ten of cups, I feel like you guys have the beginning. You have that one cup to offer. Excuse me that could lead to this ten of cups okay you have it you know what to say you know what to do this that's about it um i feel like you guys are in your own way basically okay let's see what their blockage is now their blockage is really not a blockage really this is aries again um this person is very stable they know exactly what they want they want commitment they want somebody they can depend on they want a very grounded situation they want to feel secure here which is not a blockage this is this is what's blocking you i feel is the fact that um they have this standard that they are seeking and will not settle for anything other than that and so i feel like you know you're going to have to bring it but you have the magician right here it's all within you to make this happen okay let's see what is the advice for leo look inside yourself you have all the answers look back over the past look back over the situations um very virgo energy here okay um, but but see what it is that you can do that could help to move this situation along because the hermit reflects on the things that his experiences or her experiences um, to come to a conclusion that is right for him or her okay what is the advice for them hmm I think the thing is because the hermit also looks for their life partner. The advice for them is to realize there is still undoubtedly a very strong undeniable connection between the two of you. That everything that they seek um, lies I feel like within you. You two together. But you have to turn around and see those two of cups here, okay? Otherwise, this could end up being a missed opportunity. Okay, guys? Let's see what the outcome is here. 
You're going to be all in your head about this. This is you trying to figure it out, though, with this hermit and the eight of swords. You're trying to sort through. Let me move this over a little bit. You're trying to sort through um, your thoughts and exactly what it is you need to do. I feel like you will sort it out for sure. I definitely will. If you're listening to this and this resonates for you 100% then you know what you need to do, okay? Let's see what the outcome is for them. Flipped over. This person is going to be happy. I feel like Leo's with or without you. This person is very enlightened. This person is very self-aware, okay? So they're going to be happy, I'm sorry to say, with or without you. So why not be happy with you? But it's up to you. You are the magician here. All right. So that is what I have for you guys for you versus them. And I'll speak with you soon. Bye.